Hello guys, it's Minglaf back again. Today Decker released an uh, update to Realm and they posted a blog post on their blog post, of course. Uh, and it's called the Update 1.5 Balance. They say, Hello Realmers, it's all about balance. And with this update, we are making some important item rebalancing changes. We've listed the changes so you can know exactly what to expect. We've also made some changes to the crystal entity and its battle flow, to the dungeon player caps, and to the way the game handles collision. Of course, there are bug fixes to go through and a handful of new skins to check out as well. Before we jump into the video, check out my 4000 gold giveaway down in the description. And we are soon on 10,000 subscribers. That's pretty crazy. It's just like 350 more. That's kind of crazy. So subscribe and like the video and uh, let's jump, in, jump into the video. They say... Players can now select to which server they want to connect to via the launcher. That's pretty interesting. Uh, summon changes, uh, visual effects on spawning a summon, plus players can now hide or make summons transparent. So that's very nice, so you don't have to see other people's summons, because remember at the release it could be kind of hectic with seeing all the summons. Changed the prox sprite of mechanical, mechanical maze and made some tweaks to the beam animation. Chest room is now accessible without the arg. Players just need to say chest to gill. We also fixed some bugs in it. Check down below. That's pretty interesting. I've seen some Reddit posts on the chest and that looks pretty interesting. They reverted the April Fool and Easter resprites, so we have the normal sprites for event quests in the realm. Forge item sorting has changed, most are sorted according to forge fire cost. Teleporters that take players to the boss room no longer appear during chest events, or at all for that matter. Slash is pause function removed completely, not just the command disabled, and is also removed from the slash help. So that's pretty interesting, so they have finally, or they have taken away pause, so now you can no longer pause in Nexus. Before you could do that in dungeons and that was pretty overpowered. Then they did that so you couldn't pause uh, beside enemies. And then they removed it all uh, uh, for good in dungeons. So that's an interesting change. I'm not sure I like it or not. But I guess I didn't use it that much so it doesn't bother me. I went over in my leak video about the crystal entity battle rework and they've just changed it up a little bit. And everything seems to be a little bit better. And some stages uh, is a little bit harder I think and that is deserved for an uh, endgame dungeon final boss like the crystal entity. The item rebalances I've gone through them as well but I can say the most notable items is the Rei Katana they've increased the damage and rate of fire. The Kagoboshi has been completely changed so now it actually actually just do a lot of damage which is very nice. They've changed the Wild Trap, uh, Robo of the Mad Scientist and the enforcer uh, they didn't decrease the damage now and they argue that the enforcer just took over the complete uh, spectrum of um, katanas and it actually did so it took all the uses it had long range best dps everything but now they've changed the art craft to a little bit uh, spread and that means that it's more like a d blade now than uh, it was before but I really like the change that they made that Enforcer isn't the best overall. So now you have to risk something, risk of being damaged and almost dying. Or like it's not that close, but it's risk versus reward. reward. And I really like that from Decker since the Enforcer just took over the space of being the best katana in the game. So now you can actually use tier 14 or Ray Katana if you need more range. And I like that because that's some variation in your gameplay. Instead of, instead of just having one item equipped all the time. They've changed the Void Quiver, they've changed the Battalion Banner, the Ballistic Star, and Oryx Escution. And I think that's an interesting one, so now it's the time to spam it, has been decreased by 0 0.2 seconds. And uh, stun duration have been increased to 2 seconds. The damage has also been increased, so now it's a little bit more damage, and I like that. And the radius has been increased a little bit. So the execution seems to be a little bit more powerful now and I think that's uh, a really nice uh, addition since all the other Orcs 3 abilities are like very OP you could say. And the execution 
didn't at least for me didn't make it as the best shield in the game and now i think it's just a little bit better with some more uh, stun duration with some more radius and the max cast range and the damage of course uh, if you want to go through all the items they've changed i can link the realm blog post in the description and you can check it out for yourself they've also changed dungeon caps court of orcs dungeons have all a maximum uh, number of players of 25 other dungeons that had a maximum numbers of uh, players of 65 have now been reduced to 50. I think that's pretty interesting and they say they explain these changes are related to our long term plans and it's important for both performance improvements and overall game balance. We feel these changes will fit better the intended game experience and work with mechanics like bosses HP scaling. So I think that's a very nice change and uh, I like that they keep it at 50 so you can have a whole guild inside and it would be weird if they went with 40 or something but I like that change. I usually don't go over new skins in updates but I think we have gotten some really nice looking skins in this update. First we have possessed airing sorcerer skin, that looks kinda decent I guess. We have a lonesome swords woman samurai skin, uh, looks like we've had that before. Rainmaker Sorcerer skin looks really cool. I like that skin. I th I, th I think that looks pretty cool. I like the Magneta die. Uh, then we have <laughs> we have a Paladuck Paladin skin. <laughs> I think that's a really nice skin. I I like that. Then we have a Paladin Beefcake skin. I think that's pretty interesting because that's the second now I think Beefcake skin ever, uh, except if you're not looking at the Beach Beefcake Rogue skin. So maybe sometime we will get all beefcake skins. I look, I think that's pretty nice. Uh, then we have paladin beach cake skin. So I think this will be the summer skin for the paladin. Uh, looks like he is holding a drink in his hand and a parasol in his other hand. I think that's pretty clever. Then we have a beard pet skin. So it's, I think it's from that. Uh, bird meme on reddit and that could be found online but I think it's it looks pretty hilarious and yeah I think it's a nice uh, pet skin I would use this for the memes I guess then we have a malus question mark pet skin uh, I like I really like that pet skin that's like um, <laughs> Gil covered in the malus robe I think that looks pretty cute and somehow he's gotten the power of malus in his hand with the flame then we have Orcs the Baby God, which is a rare humanoid egg, which is an orc skin with a, a baby's body. I think that's pretty fun and uh, I really like those p skins overall. I don't usually go over it as I said, but I think these were some notable mentions. I, I say the best p pet skin gotta be the Mollus question mark pet skin and the Paladin Beach Cake uh, skin is pretty nice. But they've also fixed some bugs and some stuff with collision but i won't go over that since i don't feel like that's very important but i will link the run blog post down below in the description so you can check that out for yourself and i think that breaks or makes the whole video complete uh, i like this update they've changed a lot of items like reikatana and kagaboshi and other items that was uh, kind of unbalanced before and weren't that good and i like that change from deca so, if you liked the video, like the video of course, and subscribe to the channel, we are soon at 10,000 subscribers, giveaway in the description as always, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye, and see you in the next one.